All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. The filthiest of the filthy! This is your boy Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I am joined with Ashley Smokin! <laughs> Ashley, say hi to everybody hi out there. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> so, Ashley, how are you doing today? I'm amazing. I'm so excited to be here. I feel like a little kid, like it's my first day of school. I'm so excited. <laughs> so for, you know, our fans out there, and there are some questions I'll get to here in a little bit, but, you know, just kind of talk about how you got into the cigar game and decided to start a social media page about it. And then, of course, your upcoming YouTube project. This guy and I went to a cigar rolling class Okay. that was hosted by a woman who owns a lounge in Winston-Salem. So shout out to Top Leaf Cigar Lounge, Bethany. You started it all. So she brought back this tobacco from, I want to say Nicaragua, maybe. I can't remember. Okay. She taught us how to roll a cigar um, and everything. And it was pretty cool. So it was like sangria hors d'oeuvres and cigars. Okay. And then we lit up the cigars and smoked them. And I was like, holy crap. What have I been missing out on? This is pretty <laughs> cool. And like, I finished the whole thing. And like, not once did I get queasy and I just really enjoyed it. So a couple weeks later, I went back to the cigar lounge that she owns and I bought, it's called, uh, it's by Southern Draw. And okay. It's called the Rose of Sharon. So it's this cute, I think it's a Connecticut rapper with this band that has a pink rose on it. Okay. And I went to check out and the guy that was checking me out at the cash register said, did you pick the cigar? Cause it has a pink flower on it. And okay. at the time I was like, Psh. God, no hello <laughs> what do you think of me oh, gosh <laughs> but secretly i was like oh he read me so well um so i smoked that and i started really like picking up you know every couple weeks a cigar okay and the same friend that told me to smoke cigars he told me he doesn't have social media but i think he like was looking up cigar stuff and he stumbled across instagram mm -hmm. And he told me, he was like, there aren't very many women smoking cigars, like posting reviews right. on Instagram. You should do it. And I said, hell no, I'm not doing that. Because what if I post them and the people are like, who is this little girl? Who does she think she is? <laughs> and then COVID happened mm -hmm. and I had nothing to do. I got laid off. So I had all this free time and I was just smoking more cigars in no. my free time. And I don't know why it was so outside of my comfort zone to post cigar selfies but i did and it took off yeah nowhere like never in my whole life of having so i grew up in the age of having social media yeah so never in my life of having social media had i experienced anything so crazy so it's been about a year and a half on my cigar journey i have ten thousand followers Crushing. a little over ten thousand, and i never if you would have asked me a year ago i would have never ever 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 thought I'd be like, let me say where I am now. That's so cliche. I'm not <laughs> right. anywhere right now. Right. I just take selfies and put them on Instagram and do super auto reviews. But it's so crazy because some of the opportunities that have come from Instagram, something so it's like vain. I don't, I mean, I don't want to say vain, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing the most I can do is try and not be as vapid as a lot of the people I see on Instagram. Right. And I just try to stay genuine and keep the actual, the history of cigars alive mm -hmm. in my, so I like will do these posts mm -hmm. once in a while where I study the history behind a cigar and why it's named a certain way or okay. whatever. And I try to keep that there. And then I try to do reviews every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But before this, I was never a selfie person. Yeah. Like, if I had an Instagram, it was pictures of my dog and pictures of food and yeah. like drinks, right. but it was never me. So this is a whole new, and people are like, um, social media is not a job. I know it's not like a conventional, I have a full-time job. Right. It's so different. Yeah. It's more like, I think mentally, Yeah. I have to remember, oh my God, let me do my hair before I smoke the <laughs> cigar because I'm going to have to take a picture. I don't know. Is As far as like your affiliations and your brand ambassadorship. What are some of the ones that you follow, especially, uh, I think you also get a, like a, not a mystery box, but like a mm. cigar box, you know, yeah. talk a little bit about that. So luxury cigar club. So it's a guy named Daniel Pritchy. Okay. He is a local pastor. Okay. Um, super cool. I've met him through Havana Phil's. He's the one who reached out to me and said, Hey, your posts have made me want to buy a luxury cigar club subscription. Do you have an affiliate code? So I said, no, hold on. 
let me ask. Yeah. So I'm reaching out to my guy. I have a guy who is like a social media manager, okay. I guess. God, I need one of those. Um, and I reach out to him. I'm like, hey, can I get an affiliate code real quick? And he messages back and says, they don't do affiliate codes. Okay. How about we do maybe a sponsorship? How much do you want a month? Yeah. And so I reach back. And I at this point, I was doing three posts for them a month. So I gave a number and it was so low, yeah. but it was like my first sponsorship. Sure. So, and I was pretty new at Instagram at this point, he came back and he was like, no, not that number. How about this number? And it was double what I asked for. Love that. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I mean, he was like, the only thing is you have to sign a contract. Sure. Which I had, I was so excited. I was like, I don't even care. I'll sign whatever NDA yeah. contract, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I started working with them and they have become my favorite. There are so many brands, cigar sure. brands. Um, they have become my favorite organization. Like so many people subscribe to them and they're amazing. The guys that run it are amazing. Um, mm -hmm. you could tell they actually take pride in what they're doing yeah. versus there are these other cigar subscription companies that it's so easy to tell they have, it's more so a money-making Right. They, Way, it's not, it's not personal. You don't right. have that person to person touch. They're my, I really support them and I love what they're doing. So yeah. I post them all the time. Yeah. Uh, their Instagram is luxury cigar club. Perfect. Um, there, there was a time where someone was trying to like pose as them and made like a fake luxury cigar club oh, account. God. But I think that got handled. That's so crazy to me. You know, it's crazy is someone messaged me the other day. Someone was using my picture and asking for money. Yeah. Jeez. You, you were on a whole other level of celebrity. <laughs> Nobody's ever tried to use my picture yet. The, the trolls out there, we, we all unfortunately have to deal with them. <laughs> and, you know, the one that, that you always post and that I always see is inhale. Oh, so you know, I, I want this like to be your kind of platform to talk about that, but also to because, you know, that kind of is the next part of it for people starting off that have been interested in smoking cigars. But, you know, the biggest fear and that was the most comments that we got is I don't want to look stupid. I get it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to look stupid when I first started a podcast, but I mean, it just happens. People just need to kind of take the leap, but obviously they want to get some advice in there. So I guess I guess two part question, the trolls <laughs> and then for people starting off, what do you kind of recommend for them? As far as the trolls go, I'm fortunate <laughs> to have as many followers as I do and get as little trolling as I do. So, yeah. I mean, I've had, I had a guy tell me he hopes I get cancer and die. Jesus. <laughs> and what's really funny is I, his name was on his Instagram. So I went to his Facebook and I found out his brother had cancer. Oh my God. And so I was like, dude, why would you, I messaged him and I was like, I'm sorry, you're dealing with this in your family. But this isn't cool right i know you're projecting onto me right whatever he um blocked me <laughs> but whatever that's a troll thing to do and then i had it was recently i think it was a video i posted and these kids i'm gonna say these gen zers it's gonna make me sound old but like they don't know any better yeah they're like one of them like custom he was like in hell yeah whatever yeah called me a derogatory name and then a couple other people someone was like you're disgusting for promoting cancer oh. um there was one time i had this grandma who's from winston okay commented and she said you look cheap and goodness grandma what's going on out there <laughs> i know whose granny was that <laughs> Jeez. so she had her full name on her instagram so i yeah. went to facebook and i found out she owned a muffin company or like a little bakery when she sold these muffins. The muffin man? <laughs> <laughs> so I went back to her and I said, not as cheap as your muffins. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. I got I got to give you the air <laughs> points on that one there. That's good. And a couple of these too. <laughs> and then she also had pictures of her granddaughter, like their names. On right. them. They're like these little girls. Yeah. So I commented back and I said, not as cheap as your muffins. Yeah. And then I messaged her and I said, hey, you're not setting a good example for how people should talk to women, yeah. especially your granddaughters, so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. Right. She blocked me. Of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as far as starting out with cigars, mm -hmm. I was nervous too, just because it's something so novel. Right. There, it's not as popular as it once was. So you don't have that many people talking about it. Yeah. 
But if you want to get started, I suggest getting a lighter bodied cigar. And really, my biggest helper was I started watching YouTube tutorials. Okay. So I learned about, you know, it's really safe to start with the Connecticut wrapper. So it's lighter. Mm -hmm. Um, certain sizes that work for people. I tend to smoke Robustos. That's why I started out smoking and that's okay. why I smoke now. I'll smoke anything, but um, like a smaller ring gauge. And a lot of people w- will start smoking infused cigars. Okay. So an infused cigar has like natural flavoring. So mm-hmm. there can be espresso. Macanudo just released a new espresso and cream cigar, which is actually pretty good. Okay. Those are good for new cigar smokers because it still has, it like softly opens you up to that to natural tobacco flavor. Right. Um, but YouTube was a great, like I learned how to cut mm-hmm. perfectly and light up perfectly from YouTube because all these people, these different content creators have different, um, I don't even know how to word it. They have different practices. Sure. And then that way you kind of, you're open to, different perspectives you learn what works for you i actually plan on doing a youtube video on how to cut light up a cigar for beginners god let us know we'd love to promote it i'd love to be on it i still consider myself a beginner i'm gonna get you on it (laughs) so yeah i'm still a beginner and i gotta say so i went uh this past week go visit her at havana phil's tuesday yep tuesday and again Mm -hmm. we'll get to havana phil's here in a little bit and i really love the gentleman uh, with the longer hair, kind of curlyish, you know, he was, I was like, ah, I want to get a cigar. And he was like, well, what do you like? And I told him, I was honest. I was like, I'm just one of those guys. Like my parents live in Tampa. I kind of smoke whatever's an Ebor and, and go from there. So we had a good conversation took me to the room and then, uh, you know, pick me out. Um, Davidoff laid out. Yes. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, it was good. And then he even cut it for me and everything. Mm-hmm. And he was asking my preference. I'm like, I'm just you know, sitting here <laughs> just trying to smoke. So I'm still like, I'm not a like novice or intermediate or anything like I could still consider myself a beginner because I still have so much to learn from it. And I learned so much from watching you Mm -hmm. on your live videos. People are always curious. And the biggest fear that a lot of people have is looking stupid. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, though, it's places like this to where I feel like Havana Phil's is like a judge free zone because, yeah, you have your people that have been regulars there for years and years and years. But you have people coming in that are, are willing to learn and the the regulars and the staff are there to help teach you and not be like ha ha you're a fucking idiot, you're an idiot. <laughs> so. and another thing is the cigar community it seems like a very posh male dominant industry right. but it's really not like that. it's still male dominant from what i see at sure. least but there are women who smoke cigars it's not it's just not as prevalent around here at least um but the guys who are in it in the community are so welcoming yeah <clears throat> like all education levels all backgrounds Mm -hmm. like none all that goes out the door when you step into a cigar lounge and if you genuinely want to learn you can i promise you you can look at the guy beside you who like knows what he's doing and ask him yeah and probably nine out of ten times he's gonna show you how to cut it show you how to light it and he's gonna sit down and talk with you yeah and I've seen it happen hundreds of times in my experience yeah to me that's one of the, the i'm glad you said that as far as relationship building because as i was in there I was uh, texting Ashley and, and some of my friends and just like, ah, I feel like the rich person in here. Yeah. Like, I just feel good. Like hanging out at a cigar lounge because yeah. it does give off that vibe. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm not saying you have to like hang out with the most powerful people on the planet, but I do feel like a lot of them do hang out at cigar lounges. <laughs> so they definitely do. But, you know, Trust yeah. Me. At the same time though, it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, like this is, this is a little bit like how the better half lives. So if you kind of want a little bit of insight into it, Take the leap. <laughs> so um, the, one of the questions we got is what is like one of your new favorite cigars? New favorite. Hmm. It's hard because I'm a creature of habit. Love it. So I have like 10 cigars that I stick to. Something that I don't usually smoke was an infused cigar okay. that I had at the lounge. Okay. Um, Philip gave it to me and told me to smoke it. It was the Macanudo it was an espresso and cream cigar. So usually I don't smoke infused sticks just because okay. I'm not a sweet kind of person. Like I don't gravitate towards sweet things. Mm-hmm. Um, like when I drink, it's bourbon, beer, scotch, whatever. It. Excellent. And then uh, another fan asked out there, if you were to have a superpower, what would it be? 
So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this is so I think about this all the time. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know what human doesn't. And I never know what my superpower would be. But the more I think about it, I'm a habitually late person. Okay. I'm late. So there's Ashley time. Yeah. And there's regular time. All right. So Ashley time is about 15 minutes late. Okay. Um, so teleportation. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 was, that was mine. Everybody, anytime someone asks, I'm like, teleportation, you don't need to fly. You don't need to right. do shit. Like, right. even if you could physically fly as a superpower, why? It's still going to take you. you <laughs> Where know, you can just teleport. Right. In like an hour or two to get to Australia when I can just teleport to Australia in two seconds. There. Right. So very good one. Very good one right there. <laughs> Especially for someone that's always late, like you admitted to. I'm always like, I'm, we're all guilty of it we're I'm so bad about it. it and plus on top of that there's no that you wouldn't have a use for a car you don't need to spend money on Save car on insurance my, yeah gas all that shit it's bad because I know it's bad because my friends will tell me to be somewhere mm -hmm. and it's there's always a 15 minute deficit <laughs> <laughs> um so the next pop culture question here uh, what are some of your favorite celebrities or movie TV show characters, whatever it may be, that, um, you know, that smoke cigars? I was reading an article the other day and it was like 47 celebrities that smoke cigars. Okay. And I can't remember who I had it in my phone, who published it, but I picked like a top five All right, perfect. from that list of 47. Perfect. So number one is Jeff Bridges. Um, nice. I would have Love never Jeff thought. Bridges. Yeah, me too. I would have never thought he smoked cigar. I don't know why. So when I went to college, I took a film studies class. Excellent. I was very, I really thought I was going to be like a playwright or a director. It never worked out, but that hey, is my. You still can. Yeah, true. <laughs> I have some really good ideas up here. There you go. But anyway, so one of the films I had to write an essay on was The Big Lebowski. Love it. And that was when I, I was like 18 years old at the time. And I fell in love with Jeff Bridges. He's phenomenal. Especially that character. Oh my God, the dude. the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. Um, <laughs> number two, Jay-Z was on there. Oh, nice. Jay-Z, I'm a huge rap fan. Oh, so Love it. So he's not in my top 10 favorite rappers. Okay. But I think that's pretty cool. And I've seen where he gets Beyonce to smoke cigars with them too, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube. Love Ice Cube. I freaking love, love Ice, Cube. Ice Cube. He's in my top five favorite rappers of all time. Me too. <laughs> NWA. Oh, Supreme. Okay. Yep. yep. Oh, Jack Nicholson. There you go. There you go. And I knew he smoked cigars only because at the lounge, there's a picture of him smoking a cigar. Okay. But I never knew how, like, if he actually smoked cigars, if it was just for a picture. So I started looking at it. I like Jack Nicholson a lot. Um, He's incredible. So my, one of my favorite horror films, we talked about this earlier. I used mm -hmm. to be a huge horror film uh, fan. So The Shining. Yeah. yeah. And I've read the book and I watched the movie. And people usually say, like, the book is better than the movie. Right. Something about that movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even... Um, and the next is Rihanna. No, Riri. So Riri on there. How can you not love Riri? Yeah. I will say, I was thinking about this on the way here when I was making, I was making this list like mm -hmm. earlier. She's not a great singer at all. Controversial. Oh yeah. I mean, there's trigger warnings out there. Girl, but... she can't carry a tune, <laughs> but <laughs> her. She can smoke a cigar though. Her as a person. I love it. Michael Jordan, of yep. course, Michael Jordan. So he has this tequila brand and this is where his cigar aficionado. Oh, I didn't know he had a tequila brand. So it's called Sincoro. Okay. So the Reposado. So it's a gold tequila. Yeah. Smoky like a bourbon, slight vanilla notes. Perfect. Really? And I huh. know there are people who have tequila, like Kendall Jenner has a tequila brand. Right, right. Like, what does that girl know about tequila? <laughs> Not right, shit, probably. Right. It's, it's mind blowing. I need to I reach need out to, to Michael Jordan out. to see yeah. if I. So the ABC stores around here are sold out. I was going to say, I, I've never even heard of it. And I mean, as far as closest celebrities to that, 
I really am a big fan of The Rock in general, but I thought he knocked it out of the park with Terramana. I haven't had his. Oh, it's so smooth. Yeah. It's so good. So good. So I need to try it. Does he I smoke cigars? That's the thing. I don't know. I, don't I know can see does. it, but he wasn't on the list. Yeah. I'm sure he has for a movie, but we'll go mm. from there. My my list is uh kind of all over the place. I gotta say, probably the first person I remember as like a kid that was a cigar smoker. Uh, you know, I grew up watching old black and white reruns of my dad. So I'd probably say first one I remember is Gomez Adams from the okay. Adams family. Yes. I forgot oh, about ahead. that. Yeah. I forgot about that. No. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So good old Gomez. That was the, that was the first one. And then and the comic books as well as I don't think they had it, obviously, because it's a cartoon made to kids but in the comic books wolverine logan mm-hmm. avid avid cigar smoker especially in the x-men x-men movies uh besides that on top of on top of as a child as well the a-team was out so i remember hannibal from the a-team smoking cigars mm-hmm. and then they did the remake with uh rampage and it was it was okay and then yeah schwarzenegger dutch uh, especially in predator and then uh michael jordan michael like, that's jordan. my top five I almost put him on my top five. I should have taken Jay-Z out and put Michael Jordan in there. <laughs> it's all good. I like Jay-Z. It's but... all good. Yeah. Love Jay-Z. Yeah. If you're <laughs> in North Carolina, if you find yourself in North Carolina, Havana Phil's on Battleground Avenue, 1628 Battleground Avenue, test 27408. Come by. The patio is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., I want to say. Um, we do have private memberships. So it's a great lounge, um, full bar. Sometimes we host events. Uh, there are a website? HavanaFills.com or follow HavanaFills on Instagram um, or follow me on Instagram at Ashley Smokin. I post the events. If I plan on being there, I'm going to post it, advertise it because I want people to come uh yeah ashley thank you so much for joining us of course um for all you out there be sure to like subscribe everything she's got going on the youtube channel real quick what is the youtube channel under it's ashley smoking there you go link to my bio on instagram there you go follow her on instagram you got all the links figure out when she's working when she's got events going on the whole nine yards she's definitely going to be back we got zero dark thirsty shit coming up here shortly all kinds of fun stuff so friend of ours she'll be a friend of yours and we'll catch you next time. Peace.